Happy Friday to you. Formula One traffic is here, and it's not just on the ground, it's up in the air as well. The Federal Aviation Administration is already temporarily delaying some flights to try to manage airplane flow at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. The flow control currently applies to flights coming into Austin from Dallas-Fort Worth to make sure they have enough time to land. KXN's Tahar Rahman joins us live from the airport now. Tahar, could we see more of these delays through Monday? That's right, Britt and Daniel. It's what the FAA says they called a ground delay program. Now, the idea is to temporarily hold flights from taking off so that all the flights here in Austin can come and go without getting that traffic jam and possibly delaying flights for even longer. You can see all the passengers already here that that might impact if it happened. Last year, more private planes came in and caused a traffic crunch, and that's when all flights, commercial and private, saw about 30 minute delays. So this year, there are some new rules. Wheels on the racetrack, and wheels at the airport. Yeah, I've always watched Formula One since I've been a kid. I'm going to focus on uh, certain physical motions that involve drinks to mouth. She's gotten into it when we first started dating, and she decided to make it a present for me last year. Commercial flights at the airport are sharing the air and runways with private flights. Millionaire has two football fields worth of parking space and has rented overflow space at the airport. To prepare for hundreds of clients, the private jet club is housing extra staff from out of state. We have people in RVs, uh, in hotels, and Airbnbs. One of the services offered here is to get clients from Millionaire to the Coda racetrack via this helicopter. But all of this takes some logistical planning. The Federal Aviation Administration says it's restructured air routes to manage high traffic. They say the airport has new, better equipment to help manage the flow, and all private planes need a reservation this year from the FAA to land or take off here. Uh, each hour they expect about 30 aircraft to depart this airport, so they're trying to stagger them so they all leave in somewhat of a uniform pattern. Even millionaires' chopper rides to Coda need FAA reservations, so none of these planes or these planes get delayed for too long this year. I hope to get back to my family at a reasonable time because my wife's waiting at home and more than likely she's hoping that I'm going to help spoon feed the little kids when I get back. So. Now, the FAA tells me that they deployed this ground delay program the Sunday of the Formula One race last year. And remember, we did still see delays, but they're hoping that this year with all the other air traffic control measures that they have in place, we'll avoid at least those long delays this time around. Britt, Daniel, 